Good morning, folks. Are you cool? Hey, everybody. It's your head jump. Because I'm going to be dropping some hard Thor News science upon you. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Party dance time. Thor News presents. Forgive me. This video might be all over the place. I definitely think we're all at the point where we are trying to find personal equilibrium with the state of the world right now. And that's okay. Everybody calm down. So in honor of needing to be able to communicate with the people you disagree with, I'm over at Bad Astronomy, seeing what Phil Plate is up to. Man, he's got the perfect story for a day like today. November 10th, 2016, 9 a.m. The color of stars, red versus blue. Colon, if you look at colon for too long, it starts to look like a weird word. All right, red versus blue. Why has it gotta be like this? And this almost seems false. Last 15 years, especially now, Seem red, 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 red alert. And even science will agree. You know what is everywhere? Dark matter. You know what is also almost everywhere, but not as much as dark matter? Red dwarf stars. Red dwarf stars are everywhere. All right, fine. Everybody agrees it's good to have a little bit of blue in your world. Because if you don't, you can't get to purple. Heck, you can't get to green, man. Blue is good. So it gets down to the whole confusing divide and conquer war warfare that we are in right now. Yeah, they say it's hard to understand history when you're going through it. I know exactly what they mean, don't you? And everybody's all like, I know what's gonna happen next in this great war of red versus blue. And I'm like, I don't, I got ideas, I got guesses. Some of them educated, some of them just wacky. But I'm like, why must we fight? Can't we all just get along and enjoy purple? You know, did Prince really have to die? Couldn't the Prince of Peace stay around? You know, I'm not gonna be able to make it this article, I'll tell you that right now. But let's give it a shot. Open clusters. Man, I read that, I got a long dash, and was like, hey, open wounds. That's what everybody's got right now. Open emotional wounds. And everybody's hurting, and they're lashing out at everybody. And the invisible hand of the media is guiding everybody along the way. I'm like, yo, humanity, could you please stop being at war with yourself? Uh, Cause you're losing, you're losing big time. Check the scoreboard. Okay. So yeah, everybody's got open emotional wounds. And I heard from somebody in astrology, which Phil Plates has is garbage. I'm like, I don't know about that. Let's take a look at the planets and where they're at. See if you see any strange patterns. And if the planets are what they say they are, or anything close to it, then I would guess there would be some validity to the energy in the sun, its binary companion, Jupiter, and the planets around it. Plus, if you listen to science, planets and where they're positioned have a lot to do with the sun and everything around it. So, what I'm saying is, somebody said, for the next few days, we're gonna be in a Scorpio phase. You know what Scorpio is, Scorpion? So yeah, this whole week in the last, like, I don't know, feels like a month almost, it's felt like we've been getting knocked down by a bull and then stunned by a scorpion. And be like, ow, what the hell, man, what I do? And then from up on high, beyond the peanut gallery, people are laughing at us going, ha ha ha, you were just you. Like, whoa, you yeah. um, So yeah, I guess it all comes down to, it's like, why is the left eye so mad at the right eye? It's like, they say in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. Well, seems like we're being led by a one-eyed king or queen, and that is the left eye queen. Why are you so mad at the right eye? Your mind will have much better vision if you open them both, and then you get to your third eye, and then we start doing amazing things. But it's like, our society's had its right eye shut down, and its third eye shut down. So we get one eye, the left eye, and it's pumping a bunch of Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, Ku Klux Klan, cluster fucking straight into our brains all day, every day. We're getting memed into misery. Man, so I'm that fool. Say, hey, can we get some balance? Can we get some harmony? Can we get right eye open so people can get a good vision of exactly what our future can be? And that can be magnificent. Because we can't get there until you can see it. And I saw it already. I seen it. You know? Okay. Um, so that's all I'm saying is the color of stars. And Sirius has been super blue lately. Getting bluer. I love the blues. Yes, I do. The racism is dumb. Like, favorite Americans, Jimi Hendrix color your skin is basically based on geography. So being mad at people for where they were born is like being mad at people for the color of their eyes. That is just stupid. You should judge a person by their actions, not the color of their skin. Who's running this shit show? I know, red stars everywhere, dark matter, dark energy. So from here, feels like blue stars are getting their ass kicked. But I think the universe wants balance as well. I hope anyway. Anyway, like I say, we're in the Scorpio period for a couple more days. I think I heard it. You don't have to believe any of that. And I know someone screaming at me, Earth is flat! You know, like, scorpion doesn't matter. Like, wait. You know, it's like flat earth versus round earth. I can't verify either one. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, like, you're yelling at me, flat earth. Okay, now what? Earth is flat. Explain it all to me properly, please. Explain to me how it works. And then what the hell is beyond the sky? And so, great. You scream flat earth. You got my attention. Now what? Tell me more. 
I don't want to hear about the lies of the non-flat earth. I want to hear about how a flat earth works. Is it on a turtle? Is it on two columns on top of a turtle? I don't know. I'm asking these questions seriously. And I don't think we can get to any type of truth until you get humanity to understand the biggest truth of all. As long as there's one slave on the planet, no man is free. So once that happens, then I guess we can figure out, is the earth truly round or truly flat? And I've mentioned before, we're going to figure out what to do before all the currencies collapse. Because you can't just print money into infinity. I know you can pretend you can, but but you really can't. You know, it's a mathematical certainty. It's, it's going to be trouble. You got to figure it. We know, you know. Anyway, crap. Sometimes still called galactic clusters. I'm reading the article now. That's what I'm doing. That's an old-fashioned term. Are beautiful. Are beautiful. We are beautiful, people. Get with the program. We are beautiful. Let's get a little more balance, shall we? Please. Either way. We got a couple more days to the Scorpion days. Because, you know, like, Scorp Scorpion, Scorpio, it's like the Devil's Night and Halloween. Then you get to Thanksgiving. But then you get to Sagittarius. Sagittarius is cool, dreamer, funny, artistic, a little bit wild. A good balance of half man, half animal. Okay, so, hopefully, in a couple days, we'll all find a bit of a good groove and a preview of a wonderful future. Watch, wait, and see. Anyway, I'm crazy, and right now, I totally believe. I have faith. It's always darkest before the dawn. And these days are getting pretty dark. So that dawn is going to be amazing. I bet. We shall see. Anyway, God bless everybody. Red versus blue. Why colors gotta be mad at each other? Why is the left eye mad at the right eye? Really? Why is North Korea so pissed off at South Korea? It's like everybody pissed off all the time. That's so bad. Like, like a shitty party. That's what Earth has become like. A really shitty party. It's like, oh, it's really not that hard. There's only a few minor things we gotta change to make this an amazing party. So let's get to it, people. And one of that is just stop blaming people you don't know. We are all responsible for all these freaking problems. We all have to solve them together. And that if you're angry at people you don't know, they got you hooked, man. I guess all we're trying to do is unhook you. Because that's my plan, you know? I'd like to have a good party. I'd like to have a future the next... 30 years, which is my guesstimated projection of how long I'll live, you know, to be amazing. And can't do it without you. The party's only as cool as the people in it. We gotta stop letting the, like, 3% of total jerkbag dickhead, like, put sheets on their head, burn cross people, run the show. You know, the people who are like, rape that person, kill that person, kill all, destroy, let us, you know. Ugh, whoa. That's not, most people aren't like that. Most people are like, hey, dude, let's just have a good time. You yeah? know? Anyway, I've said too much. Alright, peace out. God bless everyone.